Remember, so far, big pullbacks into the weekly 20 have been what have held and have been what got us back to new all-time highs. So until that is not the case, I will remain neutral to slightly bullish, okay? As far as levels of support, obviously last week's lows, which is also Friday's lows, that is the first level I'm looking at. If we lose those, the quarterly pivot and this trend line here, okay? You got 4,600 is basically what I'm gonna call it. And then below that is your monthly pivot as well as the weekly 20, which has been holding. Again, even if we keep coming lower, I want you guys to always keep in mind that it's not the pullbacks that, that I care about. It's what happens after the pullbacks, okay? It's when we try to make that push back up. Do we start to curl and attack all-time highs again, or does it turn into a situation where we do get lower highs on a higher time frame and then start to roll over? That is when I would start thinking dominoes may start falling. Until then, again, neutral to slightly bullish, actually. So, and then as far as upside resistance, so we'll call that 47.50 is the first level. Um, well, Thursday's highs and then 47.50 and then all time highs. Those are the levels for resistance for me on the ES. 